Hi, Nathan Patrick Taylor here with a quick demo in SAP. One of the minor pitfalls that you might run into the first time you run the Mira is that there are no SQL Server drivers installed. And if you launch the application, uh, say we'll go to File and New, and we try and run a query in here and click Next, you'll notice that uh, none of the Microsoft drivers are listed. If I click Show All, and I scroll down to the Microsoft section, you'll see that there I've got red X's in here where the driver should show up. So what we're going to do is we're going to cancel out of this. We'll go back into the file menu and we'll click Preferences. Then click the SQL Drivers section. Scroll down to Microsoft section. Leave it there for a minute and uh, we'll fire up a uh, Google browser. And what we'll do is we'll come in and we'll search for SQL Server uh, JDBC drivers. And of the ones that come up on the list, we want to download Microsoft JDBC driver 6.0 for SQL Server. So we'll take that selection. And we'll scroll down a little bit here. Uh, you know, choose your correct language, use download. And uh, we'll take this middle option, the, uh, the executable file there. Click Next. And the driver will start to download. Once it's downloaded, we'll, uh, since I'm in Chrome Hill, we'll just show it in the folder. Get a little folder pop up here. And uh, I'm going to take the driver. I'm going to double click it. And it's a self-extracting uh, zip file, so I'm just going to leave it the default directory that it's going to extract to. We'll choose unzip and uh, let it unzip there. And we'll see it created a folder, Microsoft JDBC driver 6.0 for SQL Server. All right, so let's minimize everything. Go back into Lumera, click on the uh, appropriate version. Uh, I'm actually running SQL Server 2016 locally, so uh, I'm going to choose SQL Server 2014 from the list since that's the highest version here. I'll click the Install Drivers button and then we'll go to the Downloads folder. The same folder then I'll, I'll double click on where it unzip the files and we'll keep drilling through here. And I'm going to choose uh, GRE 7.0 or, or the Java 7 environment and uh, there's only one jar file. We'll take that one click open and you'll notice now I've got the green check mark. Now it's going to ask me to restart Numera so we'll go ahead and we'll say that's fine. Go to file, exit, and close it and then we'll go back in and we'll launch it again. Okay now that the application's launched again I should be able to just go file and new and start a new SQL query here. We'll click next I'll scroll down the list and we'll see that my SQL driver is installed. And I have to uh, log into the server here. So I have, a, I have a report user set up inside my SQL database that I has just read-only privileges. So I'm going to log into that particular user. I've installed SQL Server locally, even though I do have a server environment set up that's remote. But I'm going to use my local environment. And uh, then I have to give it the database name here. And uh, I've actually got the AdventureWorks Data Warehouse sample uh, installed from Microsoft. So we'll go ahead and we'll enter that database name and uh, click Connect. If everything goes well, it should just log me into the database uh, just fine. I'll expand <clears throat> the database name. We'll go to the DBO role here, expand that section. And I'm just going to demo that this works. So we'll double click on the uh, employee dimension. We'll preview it, see that we have employees, and we'll do a quick do a quick uh, visualization here just to make sure everything's working properly. So I have a horizontal bar chart. So in this case, I'm going to pull department name into the y-axis, and uh, base rate, I want to look at average. So we'll change it to an average base rate, drop that into the x-axis, and then we'll quickly sort it here just to see that um, I'm able to pull data from the database. It looks good to me. Uh, that should do it.